Hello, welcome. My name's James. I'm going to take you through a worked example of a mould calculation with a percentage yield, uh, and it's aimed at around beginning of A-level standard, AS level standard. So the question which we're going to answer is, uh, 7 grams of TCL4 were reacted to form 2.1 grams of TiO2. What was the percentage yield? So to do this, well, we've, uh, we're learning to convert mass and mole using the uh, MR, or the relative formula mass, Use a balanced equation to work out theoretical yield, and then divide actual yield by theoretical yield to get the percentage yield. Converting uh, mole mass and MR, we can uh, arrange a, a triangle here, which means that we could read that mass is moles multiplied by the uh, relative formula mass, or you could read from mole to say that mole is equal to the mass divided by the MR. We're going to need those equations. Another idea is that if we have a balanced chemical equation in which uh, A forms B in a one-to-one -one ratio, then however many mole of A you form, let's imagine we form 0.12 mole, then if you have 100% yield, then you will form 0.12 mole of B. So let's do the calculation and uh, the extra information we've been given is the relative formula mass of the TiCl4 and the TiO2 and the balanced equation. And as we can see in the equation, then one of the TiCl4 will react to form one of the TiO2. So to work out the number of moles of the TiCl4, we're going to have to take the mass of it, divide it by its MR. That will give us the mole. So the mass, which we're given in the question, is 7.0 and the MR 189.7 and that comes out as 0 0.0369 so if this was 100% yield then it would give that same amount in mole of the product. Now we want to uh, convert this number of mole into a mass and to do that, we can say take that mass, we know that that's mole times MR, and multiply by the MR of the TiO2, 79.9, which gives 2.95 grams. So that there is the mass of the TiO2 you would form if it was 100% yield. Now, the percentage yield is going to be our actual yield which was the 2.1, divided by that 100% yield, or the theoretical yield. And as you can see, we didn't quite get 100% yield. We've got uh, that, 2.1 divided by 2.95, which comes out as 71%. So to summarise uh, what we've done here, we had an equation uh, in which it was a one-to-one -one ratio of A to B, which meant that the number of mole which we got here we knew that if it was 100% yield, we'd get the same number of mole there. Now we could work out the mole of A just by saying that it was the mass of A divided by its MR. And then once we had the mole of B, then we could turn that into a mass, which is actually our theoretical yield, by multiplying that by its MR, because that's a mole times an MR, and that will give us our theoretical yield. Then to work out the percentage yield, we take the actual amount, which was in this case 2.1 grams, divided by our theoretical yield, which was 2.95 grams in that case. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed uh, that tutorial. Here's a little uh, quiz for you. It says put these steps in order for working out the percentage yield. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye for now.